Okay, welcome back to our study of evil. As we pick up section number eight, the judgment of God. Now, probably said this on every single time that we come on air and recording. You've got to get all, not part of, you've got to get all. Now, we're, we're starting a new section today, Judgment of God. We've talked about the uh, ad, well, introduction, adjective, bad deed, criminal and capital punishment, good is evil and evil is good, good versus evil, heart, innocent or innocent, and now judgment. And we still got... Fifteen more uh, topics, and we're on page twenty-two of fifty-four pages. So we got a lot to talk about, and we're not hitting every single word of evil like we did with the uh, uh, the foolish study, where we hit every word that which we did not do. I'm sorry, we didn't do it with folly. But evil, we're not doing every word, but we're hitting the point. When we did the fool study, I found myself to be a fool. Evil study, I found myself to be evil. Now remember, evil is sin and a consequence of sin. And sometimes evil is not sin, and yet still there's a consequence. A person driving down the road that gets hit by someone else driving under the influence, ends up in a hospital and gets lifetime injuries. That's an evil. But they didn't sin. Someone else's sin. Why well, you got to get all the le lessons. So God does not sin. And so evil is not always sin. Evil can be consequences of sin. When God judges man and nation for their perverseness in sin. So we're looking at God. And the judgment. And there is judgment. And I believe COVID-19 is a judgment of God. And there are sinners who have got COVID-19. And there are people. Wait a minute. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So you can't say there's not a sinner. You can't say a, pa a patient of COVID-19. Well, did not get COVID-19 because he wasn't a sinner. All have sinned. And yet this judgment of God of COVID-19 is a warning call for you to repent and get right with God. We just had two hurricanes in the Gulf. And Hurricane Laura and Marco. Laura just hit today and they're saying destruction. That's evil. But it's evil of God. And yes, God done it. Because he wants you to repent. And I wrote to someone today. You know, they pray for Louisiana. Louisiana people need to pray and repent and get right with God. They didn't learn from Katrina. They didn't learn from Katrina. Get on your knees and repent to a holy and righteous God. Many of them, you know, they go to a Catholic God and Catholic sins. Judgment is not sin but evil. Whether it whether is not a sin, but it can be evil caused by God, though God never sinned. And this is one of the reasons why we did study, because when I started this out, we read every once in a while. This verse is, these verses have been been confusing. Job chapter two, verse ten. I gotta check this out here.
Job chapter 2, verse 10, but he said unto her, Thou speakest as when the foolish women speak. What? Shall we not receive good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil? Isaiah 45, 7, I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. God never sins, but from God, evil comes. When God's evil is not sin. But the evil that comes from God is to those that have sinned. Lamentations 3.38, out of the mouth of those high proceed is not evil and good. You know some of the evil is going to come out of the mouth of God one day? Depart from me. Depart, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And the evil is they will end up in hell. The lake of fire. So the judgment of God. And we got a few days on this. <coughs> Exodus 32, 12. Exodus 32, 12. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, For mischief did he bring them out, to slay them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth. Turn from thy fierce wrath, and repent of all this evil against thy people. Moses is speaking. God is judging Israel for their sin. And the judgment of God is so fierce that Moses says, Listen, God, if you wipe out all the Israelites, Egypt's going to give you a bad name. God, you're so much in your evil judgment and the consequences. God, what Moses? Repent. Now, God never sins. Repent is a change. Moses is telling God, okay, the evil, a little mercy. God was going to destroy Israel for their sins. And this is a reaction of a nation. Sinning would be a judgment of God upon that nation. And if God has judged and will judge Israel and Judah. And there's a time for Israel and Judah. Called Jacob's trouble. Seven years tribulation. Three and a half years of tribulation. Three and a half years of great tribulation. Don't you think countries like Germany, England, and America are going to be okayed and allowed and God's not going to do nothing with China or Russia? If God passed judgment of evil and evil judgment upon his own people for their sins, he will put upon them evil judgment upon the Americans in their sins and England in their sins and China for rejecting God and the word of God and Russia. And Africa and all places on the earth that have sinned against a holy and righteous God. It's an evil judgment upon a nation for the nation's sins. America and England and China, they are nationality sin. And they will be judged. Exodus 32 14. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. His people. America is not his people. There is no other nation in the world that has been, that is, or will ever be God's nation but the nation of Israel. And God passed evil judgments because of the sins of his people. He will pass evil judgments upon the sins of the Gentiles or the heathen. The judgment of God upon a nation. Evil is the reaction, not sin, upon sinners. The evil of sinners is never pleasant. And that is why it's called evil and never good. When a father catches his child doing something wrong, it is evil for that father to take that child under his knee 
And then to whip that behind, they say, oh, it's wrong and all. Bible, that's proper. It don't feel good. It's an evil called correction, and it's to help the child, the Bible says. The, the seven-year tribulation period is God taking Israel over his knee and spanking their behind. And then when Jesus Christ comes back, he brings them in the land and gives them a new heart and gives them a, a, new, a new spirit as a nation corporate. Deuteronomy 29, 21. So that's a reaction of God upon sinners. And it's never good. And God can't hold back full judgment of evil. God may turn back and say, like the angel is going to destroy Jerusalem at David's time. And the Lord told that angel, put the, put the sword in your sheath. That's enough. You know, even God's mercy and grace and long sufferings in his trials, tribulation, and evil upon sinners. You know, man that is a sinner, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, deserves hell. Deserves the evil of going to hell for their sins. Yet God's long-suffering, God's mercy, God's love, God's care. He suffered and died on the cross according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Deuteronomy 29, 21. And the Lord shall separate on shall separate him on the Lord shall separate him unto evil out of the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in this book of the law. A false prophet is a person that would direct the people of God out of serving God unto other gods or even that person himself a self-proclaimed messiah a self-proclaimed god a religious leader a new religion it's forsaking god by israel the person or persons would suffer their sins against god evil so when there is a man or a woman or men and women who direct a person or people away from God, away from the Bible, and away from the Lord Jesus Christ to other gods, There is an evil of God. And not the evil of God sinning because God don't sin. The people sin. There will be a consequence. Woe unto them that, that offend the little children be better if a millstone be hanged around his neck and cast off into the, I think he says, sea. There are different degrees or levels in hell of torture. A deceiver, a false prophet, a priest, a, a guru, a, a, a pastor, a, a pastoress, a, a, a reverend, whoever is against the authority of God, 2 Corinthians 11, un, operating under the realm of the devil, And the devil's teaching to pull people away from God. Those who come up with the prosperity gospel. Those that come up with the easy believing gospel. Those who come up with the politically correct gospel. Are false teachers and false prophets. And there will be an evil. And though the, if their life is great and wonderful on this planet earth. 
If without the Lord Jesus Christ's salvation they have trusted in, they will wake up in torments of hell forever. Hell is an evil for sinners that have not repented and turned to the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. I said hell is an evil. Judges chapter 2 verse 15. Don't you ever deceive anybody. Don't even try. If you think you have, you better get down on your knees. You better get right with God and find out if it's true. And then get it right with the people. Be careful how you quote scripture. You, know, you hear me quote scripture and you hear me, well, I don't know. I think, like I said a few moments ago, I think it says C. You're unsure. And you're, you're about to attest to a, a, a point of scripture. Tell them, I, I don't think I'm getting the scripture completely. I don't. I forget what this word is. Well, let me verbatim quote. Don't you quote a scripture and you're not quoting scripture. That's a sin. It's a false prophet. Judges 2.15 Whithersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil. As the Lord had said, and as the Lord has sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Israel has sinned against God. And God has brought evil of their enemies into Israel to deal harshly with Israel. Again, Israel is God's people. If God did not forsake his own people of evil and judgment, you better believe he will have evil and he'll have judgment upon the heathen. Because if God doesn't apply judgment and evil upon the heathen, God will have to apologize to Israel for their captivity to Assyria. He would have to apologize to every person in Judah in the time of Jeremiah for Babylon's captivity. He would have to he would have to apologize to every Jew 70 AD when Rome came in and sacked Jerusalem. And if God doesn't put evil and judgment upon Germany, America, England, and China and Russia. God is going to have to call up the, the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah. He's going to have to apologize to them. Because upon those nations that I mentioned, in Sodom and Gomorrah and Israel and Judah and Israel north, God applied judgment and evil upon them. Oh, I'm going to let America go free. God ain't apologizing to no sinner that deserves his evil and his judgment. And as far as America and her sins, the evil's coming, the judgment's coming. It's here now, presently. And Americans in the world are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Repenting and getting right with God. When God brings your enemies upon you and your sin. If God is angry with you and, and he's going to bring a, an evil judgment, he may bring into your workplace everyone you hate. He may give you a detestable boss. May. I'm saying may. I'm not telling you every bad boss is because of you know, the evil God. But it may be. Judges 3.12. Sometimes you got to look at, at, at the things in your life and say, why? And you got to look to God and say, God, what have I done? I've done anything? Is it because of me? Is it a trial? Is it punishment? Is it a learning experience? Is it life? Is it you, God? Is it the devil or is it me? 
And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord strengthened Eglon, the king of Moab, against Israel, because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. Again, evil, uh, Israel's done evil again. Sin is disobeying and rebelling against God and his word. And the sin of the evil here is when they rebelled against God and his word. America and England has had the word of God preached in her, her streets, has been preached throughout her field, the great awakenings, the great preachings of Moody and, and Sunday and Roloff and Rockman and Whit, uh, Whitfield and the great revivals that I'm not talking about the modern revival. I'm talking about the Great Awakening, the first two, when there were bars and, and theaters shut down and people got right and people repented and they turned to God. Now we come with the modern version. We come with the world. We come. All are welcome. Look at our program. Look at our toys. Look at our pride. Look at our big building. Look at we're rich and we have no need of nothing. I have to see. There's more of a wickedness for a church to have a woman pastor, woman deacon, when it's completely forbidden in the word of God. That is evil. That's a sin. And there'll be judgment coming upon that. You cannot disobey God's word and expect to have a consequence. And that consequence is called evil. And that's five for today. Lord willing, next week.